Hi, this is How to Get Your Shit Together with me, Sue Wright. Today I'm going to talk about your thoughts, beliefs and actions, or our thoughts, beliefs and actions. Now, if you put those three words into a search engine on the internet, thought, belief and action, you will bring up lots of diagrams and probably lots of websites relating to it. So emotional intelligence came up when I stuck it in, in Google. You had CBT came up. I had, I think it was Gandhi came up as well. And they are three very simple words, but they're three very powerful words as well. And they can work both positively and negatively. So you don't have to start with the thought or, you know, to, to get this process. You can start with any particular one. But we'll start with thought just to begin with. So if you think, right, okay, I am going to run 500 metres today. Somewhere in your subconscious may be a belief that has been stored away there, correctly or incorrectly. Your belief is that I can't run or your belief is that running causes me discomfort. So your action, your subsequent action could be that you do nothing, that you don't do the run, that your belief has convinced you that, well, what's the point? You can't run anyway. Or your action could be that you go and try to run your 500 metres, but you struggle. Then that re that reinforces the belief. You know, your thought process will be, well, I knew I was going to be rubbish at this, but goodness me, I didn't realise I'd be that rubbish which has backed up your belief that you can't run, which means that the next time you think about going for a run, your action may be that you just absolutely don't get off that sofa and, and get out there. So that's just a simple example with relating to exercise. These same processes can be relating to relationships or money or doing an activity of any description. So your thought could be, I really want to apply for that job. Your belief that you've stored away, again, correctly or incorrectly, could be, well, what's the point? I never get interviews for these things anyway. So your action or inaction could be that you throw together a covering letter that isn't going to get you through the door, or you just don't even bother, okay? Okay. So we've got to be careful. These three words are incredibly powerful processes that we go through every single day. Every single day we we dig into our belief systems and we take action or there is inaction as a result of it. Now, the good thing is that you can retrain your brain. I have a book on that very subject, but you can retrain your, your brain. OK, so you can create new beliefs you can then take more positive action and then your thought processes will change. So if, for example, you see a job advertised and you start by thinking, well, what's the point in applying? Stop yourself there. OK, change your thought. Actively make a point of changing your thought process. The thought that you're now going to think about is, I am really going to write the most amazing covering letter. I deserve that job and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to achieve it. So you are creating a belief there that you are worthy, that you are perfectly qualified. Your belief is that you have faith in yourself to do the job. So your subsequent action will then be that you write an amazing covering letter. And you may get the interview. OK, now, if the interview went well, great. You've got another thought process. Yes, I can really do this. And the belief is I am I am perfectly capable and competent. If you apply for that job and you don't get an interview or you don't get an interview, um, but you sorry, you get an interview, but you don't get the job. The thought process that you need to develop there is, well, I tried my best. And as long as I try my best. That's all I can ever do, which the belief is not that you have failed, but that you have done a good job. The belief is that I always try my best so that subsequently when you try and you, you go to do something again, 
your actions are again positive rather than there's a complete inaction going on. Okay. So you can work this any way you like. Like I say, you you the action can can kick in. You can feel hesitant about doing something and do it anyway. So you can feel hesitant about going to lead that horse out of the field that you were a bit scared of. The thought is, God, yeah, I think I'm going to really try my best here. I'm going to really be brave. The belief you've stored is that you can do it. So like I say, any of these three words start wherever you feel. But as it is re-recording the beliefs, if you like, re, you know, creating some new belief systems in your subconscious mind. So that when a situation arises and you need that strong belief, it is there for you rather than the belief that you can't do it, that you aren't capable, that you're too this, you're too weak, you're too unqualified, you're too lazy, you're too stiff, you're too sore. Any of these things, um, these beliefs that you store away. So it is take the time to be monitor what you're putting in your belief system. And what your thoughts are. Because if your first thought on waking up in the morning is, oh, I really can't be bothered with today. Today is going to be an awful day. I just would rather stay here and pull the duvet over my head. If you start your day with that thought, and if you proceed through the morning with that thought, you are going to have a miserable day. Your actions are going to be that you sluggishly drag your ass through the day. If you change your thought process, and I did it this morning, I have to say, today was definitely a duvet over the head morning, but I haven't got that luxury. So my thought process was, I am going to get up and I'm going to get through those horsey jobs this morning and I'm going to really spend some quality time with them and then sit myself down at my desk and really get on with this course that I'm writing. So, you know, it makes your actions more positive. That thought, that initial thought, the words you're telling yourself every single day. You need to be mindful of what you're saying because they will have an impact on your actions. And you will be storing away, whether you register or or not, you'll be storing away beliefs in your mind that you're lazy, that you're incapable, that you're this, that you're that. So the words that we use to ourselves are incredibly powerful and the actions that we take each day are very powerful. And the beliefs that we store away, we have some control over what goes in there. You know, you can sit and tell yourself, I am strong. I'm a strong, independent, capable woman. I do the best I can every single day. You know, write some down. People call them affirmations. You can call them what you want. I don't care as long as you use them. You know, at some point through the day, go, God, I'm really rocking today. You know, I really feel great today. I'm really strong. I'm really powerful. I'm really energetic. All of these things create belief systems, which then influence your actions and your thought processes and vice versa. So on that chipper note, I hope you have a great day. You are going to have a great day. Believe that you're going to have a great day and you will have a great day. All right. So you take care. Bye.